In this video, I'm going to be covering an interesting strategy that you can use in order to get a lot of eBay sales. It involves buying lots, wholesale lots, and so on, and reselling them for more money. There is two ways for you to go about this. The first way, and this is the simple way, is to go and buy the actual lot, break it down into different kind of pieces, and resell them individually. This involves more risk because you're actually buying the product. The second way is to actually take the whole listing and post it in your own actual eBay location, which is your own eBay store or just an auction. This one also involves risk because if somebody finds out that you're flipping the listing and making money on it, they will definitely report you for that. So you got to be super careful. So those are the two main methods for you to go about and do this. And let's get started with looking for bargains and reselling them right now. So the first thing you want to do is to just go on eBay and type in lot. Now one of my favorites is of course a lot of Legos. Those are the few things I always look for. So always look for something you're good at, you know something about. This is what you should actually concentrate on. If you're not good at anything or not yet an expert, you should get started with some ideas that I have right now, or of course, just start learning about something you're very interested in. So wholesale lots, free shipping, let's press on that. And we got a bunch of different choices for us to pick from. Look at this, we got the gloves here. And when we press on something, sometimes what happens is you get other things wholesale for sale as well. So what we are doing is we are looking for something that already sold and a bunch of them been actually sold. And that's exactly what we want. So when we look at every listing, you will see something like this. This is what we want to see, which is 32 of this specific item was actually sold. This is a wholesale lot of sizes 7, 8, and 9. So let's take a look at what this is. So 32 of those sold, that means this item is actually selling. You have this going for 12 and you get five of them. So you have to have the calculator for every one of those just to make sure and to find out how much profit you're making per item if you decide this is the item you want to get. Okay, so 12, 79 divided by 5 equals 2.5 each. So each of those is worth 2 bucks and 50 cents. Anything over that is your profit if you decide to buy it and flip this listing. Next thing we are looking at this specific item, which actually is shipping from China. Now it's going to take a while before it gets to you. And the price is extremely cheap. It's only three bucks for 25 pieces. That's a lot of pieces. And you can definitely sell this wholesale. This looks pretty interesting here, but the price is just right. The item, well, we're not sure exactly if it is right or not. Well, sizes right here is 60 millimeter to 20 millimeter, which is 5 to 10 US size, and this is natural wood. So it's kind of cool for a fashionable ring for somebody to get something that's totally made out of wood. But I'm sure the whole market here is saturated with something like this. But look at the huge amount of items that are actually sold here. When you see a seller that's selling so many items and products, you want to see what else he is selling. So you can get something else instead. So let's see what is going on here. Those are the best matches we have here. And we can just go through and look what else is he selling. And if anything catches your eye, you can go and buy it or you can flip those listings. In fact, you can even drop ship this to somebody using this specific seller. But I don't really suggest for you to do so. So those are the items that he's selling, mostly fashion rings. It seems like this is going pretty well for him. So he definitely is selling a lot of them. And by a lot, I mean, there's like so many pages of the same or similar kind of a team item. Remember, I always talk about niche items where you should always sell them. Well, this guy is the niche guru. He's selling everything that is almost the same identical niche and he's doing the same or similar theme listings and he is just doing it over and over and over again. 
that's how you build success you keep on working on the same niche and you're doing it over and over again until you get a huge momentum and sales like this guy right here and he has so many items that he's selling this is a chinese based seller so the items is going to take a while for them to go and transit to you now one thing i don't like about this specific cell look at this there are so many private listings over here so he doesn't want to show you what some of his best selling items actually are because he tries to hide them so that's one of the things that he's doing and i am not too happy with that so sellers hiding the items i'm not too great about i'm not really sure how come he's hiding certain listings whereas others he's totally fine with them so maybe he's hiding something anyway let's go back to the wholesale what right, so what wholesale so another way for you to go about and search is wholesale lot resale that is the thing that you want to search for now we're going to be looking for what else is catching our eye when we're looking at those kind of listings and sometimes we will find something interesting and here is something i like here we go bunch of dvds and those are in used like new and good condition so you get 50 free bucks that you invest and you get a hundred dvds for that price now the question is is this worth it or not so let's do some math here divide 100 equals 50 cents for each dvd this is not a bad deal because if you sell them on a garage sale you can charge up to a buck and if somebody buys them you can make maybe twice as much money in fact if you're selling it online some of those titles i'm sure they will actually go for a lot more than a buck and i think some of them might go up to five bucks as well and then another thing you can do here you can sell a bunch of them together so that definitely is another way for you to go about this by looking at what kind of listings that this guy has the only issue is with this one is that he doesn't tell you what kind of dvds you're going to be getting so this is just a sample of it you might be getting exactly what you don't want so i don't like those kind of resales for those listings and sometimes you will be able to get a lot cheaper as well and this is assorted dvds but you can get a collection that's not assorted you can get a collection of dvds that names exactly what you're getting so here is one that has no duplicates for shipping here is another one but i'm looking for something that gives me a specific dvds and it tells me exactly what i'm actually getting so those are the dvds you want to look for and you want to buy so this guy is doing exactly that now one way for you to go about and get into this interesting business is very simple going to garage sales and you just get those things for super cheap like 25 cents each and resell them back online for more so if you get even double the profit for all the dvds that you're collecting you might get a pretty decent amount of cash doing this constantly just driving around garage sales buying dvds buying them reselling them and keep on going with this and so on and on so this is a great way to make money as well now here is another thing that people totally collect and you can grab and make a huge amount of cash with so this is yogi who collect those cards the thing about this is that i got a bunch of them once on the garage sale like over 200 of them for like a two to three bucks and i was able to sell them for like 50 bucks when everybody was buying those so i got them exactly at the right time and i made a huge amount of money very fast by just stopping in a garage sale on my way to work but now it is totally saturated this specific field because a lot of collectors is trying to let go of it but still you can make a good amount of money here and here is how you go about this this is a great listing for you to really flip it so you would go and release this exact listing on your own listing change the description around make it look a little different up the price here i know this is a little bit risky in case this guy finds out that you're copying his listing but look at this 1734 of those listings been sold it is 
very unlikely that he's going to go and double check on who is going and flipping his listing around. So that's one thing you can do. Of course, another thing you can do is add more value to this specific listing. And this one is more tricky, by the way. So you go when this thing goes on a discount, such as today, and this is selling for 38 bucks. You buy this specific listing. You take pictures of exactly the type of cards that are selling here and you add the value to around maybe 50 bucks or so. If you get some very rare, unusual and collectible cards, you definitely are going to make a lot more money in the process. But it is a lot more risky because you're buying it wholesale. With wholesale, here is something I love to buy. And those are Legos. And now over here, you're risking a very small amount of cash on this. So it's 9 89 that you're risking here by buying this specific lot taking a few pictures posting it up and try to flip this for around 15 or 16 bucks here now this is a sample of what kind of items are selling so one thing you could do here is you can just buy a bunch of those legos look at this five lego police and by getting five of them, look at the picture. Somebody might think they're getting way more than five. They're buying this specific item because they like this picture. And they're like, oh, I want to get something out of this. But you just ship them five of those random pieces. And yeah, you can flip this listing as well. But over here, maybe just buy this listing. Take a picture of exactly what you're selling. And sell it for more money. Now let's go and check another listing here to flip. Lego listing is awesome. And here is the items that we can go and flip. So we have a bunch of vintage base plates. This guy doesn't know what he's doing because he's selling very, very well and unusual vintage plates. Some of those plates are going for at least 24 bucks each. So the one I see on the left side is probably worth maybe like 29 and this one, the, the, the unusual one with the water, this one is worth probably around the same price. Maybe the green one is worth around even 50. Some of those plates are worth a lot more if you know what exact set it actually goes for, but the price is a little bit too steep here for this specific item because the amount of profit margin I'll make here is very, very tight. So you got to be careful when you buy stuff for wholesale, because if I'm buying this, I'm investing 50 bucks and potentially I might make like 20 bucks on this listing, but it always is a gamble. Now let's take a look at what other things he's selling just in case you can get something that is worth a lot of money, because if he made one mistake, definitely he's going to make a lot more mistakes in his other listings and I don't see anything that really catches my eye except this interesting listing Lego micro minifigure lot so he's selling a bunch of those micro minifigures but he's selling them super cheap for like 20 bucks now you might say it's expensive it's not because he didn't list them individually so I would actually go and buy this whole lot and resell them individually in fact just the minifigure heads might actually go for around seven to eight bucks for like seven or eight of them instead so this is a listing that greatly underestimate what he's actually selling the reason why he made so many mistakes here first of all he didn't count how many items that he's selling he should have put it in here i'm selling maybe 20 or 30 of this item plus he should have named exactly what it is name the sets and everything that would have definitely get a lot of extra enhanced value to this specific listing and he didn't actually do that next one is another minifigure lot and this is a lego lot of 10 minifigures selling for 20 bucks the previous one was for nine dollars and it was selling five minifigures so he, this guy is doing almost the same exact thing here by selling a bunch of different minifigures for 20 bucks and he's just selling 10 of them which is just a random bunch of Legos and look at this 2,952 different kind of listings that have been sold and that's out of all his huge amount of listings he's definitely printing money here doing Lego vesting every single day and you want to really look at what's going on here with this guy 
And in fact, this guy is making money just buying and selling Legos. That's it. He's not buying and selling anything else. He's just going, grabbing a bunch of different Lego sets like this one, Lego Friends right here. And he's selling a whole lot of them for a very cheap, I mean, reasonably cheap price. How is he getting them so cheap? Well, one way for them to go and get them you buy the whole entire set and you just sell parts of it and the parts are always greater than the whole so by buying a whole actual collection and then reselling just different pieces of it you can make good enough money in the process and some of them are worth a lot of money look at this he's selling individual pieces this one, I don't know how much he's making out of this one. It's probably like next to nothing, but he's doing it anyway. He's just listing almost every single component, almost every single piece. He's getting them and he's just posting it up them like a factory. He's just producing and posting all kinds of listings. And there's pages and pages of it doing Lego vesting full time. Amazing. So let's look at the highest possible things that he is selling here. And here we go, $250 for this specific listing. And those are the ones that are big money makers for him. Everything else is just going down and it's not as much cash. And lastly, we have this, which is hand carved olive desert camel nativity set. Costs 29 bucks for 29 bucks plus $6 shipping. You can get all those pieces and you can resell them individually. So there you have it, all kinds of different ways for you to make money by wholesale lots and buying those, including Lego Westing itself. And now it is your turn to go about and try to make money using the same system I just taught you in this lecture. So divide by six, it costs five bucks each of those camels and try to sell every one of them for 12 bucks a piece. We are talking about doubling the profit for every single one of them. So that's about a $6 profit times six of them equals maybe $36 in profit just by buying this specific set.